Next comes the concept of transversal. So transversal is a line. Suppose there are two lines and a single line is intersecting both the lines. So this particular line is known as transversal. We normally represent it by an italic letter. It can be T or L or N, M, any. This is a common way of representing. So transversal is it can be multiple lines. The common line which is going through all the line is known as a transversal. That's the basic definition. So can a figure have multiple transversals? Yes. Think about this way. Normal hashtag, you know, a hashtag has multiple transversal. So this is T1 for this L1, L2. This is T2. This is also transversal for L1, L2. L1 is a transversal for T1, T2. And L2 is a transversal for T1 and T2, both. So if you see the perspective, the different way of looking at it, you will get to know there are multiple transversals in a, in a single figure. But this particular definition is important. The transversal is that line which passes through two or more lines from distinct points, distinct points. Why is it important? Suppose there are three lines but passing from the single point. There is no transversal in this particular figure. Okay, there are line 1, line 2 and line 3. But there is no transversal. There are intersecting lines. Okay, they are intersecting at point O but they are not intersecting at two points. Like this T is intersecting at point A and point B. There are two different points, two different lines. That is important. Here, line line 3 is obviously intersecting with line 1 and line 2, but they are intersecting at point O. So hence, this is not a transversal. Similarly, these two are not a transversal. So basic concept of transversal is this. Now coming to the importance of transversal in lines and angles of sort basically geometry. And if the lines are parallel, then it becomes very important. First of all, let us try to understand the multiple angles which are formed. If you see carefully, the angle 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 8 angles which are forming in this whole figure. Now there are multiple ways of looking at it. First thing which is important is interior angles. When we talk about interior angles, it means that they are between these two lines. Suppose line N and line M. They are in between these two lines. Now you can see them very clearly. Interior angles are angle 3, angle 4, angle 5 and angle 6. And rest are exterior angles. So hope you understood what you mean by interior and exterior. Exterior is outside these two lines exterior angles are angle 1 angle 2 angle 7 and angle 8 okay based on these there are some of the properties so first property is alternate interior as you got to know alternate alternate means one after the other if you go literally but alternate in my thinking in my vocabulary I heard this term for the first time when I went for alteration of something alteration of shirt alteration of pants or something like this and a stitching a button so if you look at the button carefully you will get to know there are four holes and when they are tied up they are tied up like this alternate I think that's why they are called alternate and when they say alternate in here, this image comes to my mind. So that's how alternate works. Okay, that's how alternate works. So 3 is equal to 4, sorry, 3 is equal to 5 and 4 is equal to 6. This is alternate in here, but remember this only happens when L and M are parallel. 
these all properties happen only if n and m are parallel you can check it yourself by drawing two non parallel lines and see are they equal and see now are they equal this draw two lines which are parallel and draw the transversal you will get to know whether this is true or not now similarly if i talk about ordinate interior second could be ordinate exterior so in case of ordinate exterior draw the same way just do the operation like this so 1 is equal to 7 and 2 is equal to 8 this is ordinate interior and exterior angles so third property is corresponding corresponding angles so corresponding angles definition is one angle should be in exterior and one in the interior but on the same side let's listen to this again one exterior one interior but on the same transversal either on the right side or on the left hand side okay so let me just think about this one suppose this one is i'm talking about so this and this so one in interior one in exterior but on the same side so similarly i can take a blue pen and do like this so you can check by measuring the angles i would like you to measure them okay so 2 angle 2 will be equals to angle 6 3 will be equals to angle 7 now you tell me angle 1 will be equals to what angle 4 will be equals to what so these two you have to tell me in the comment section now this is regarding the corresponding angles there is one or two more properties which are left let me just discuss those hope you are noting down all the properties in your notebook coming to the fourth property fourth property is co interior people call it by different names co interior is one of the famous one because it is shortest and it can also be stated as interior angles on the same side of transversal this i'm repeating again interior angles on the same side of transversal you tell me what are the two interior angles which are on the same side of transversal so it means this these two okay 3 and 6 angle 3 and angle 6 are co interior but if you measure them these two will add up to 180 degree now you have to tell me whether these two are linear pair or not should we call it a linear pair you have to tell me in the comment section with reason another pair is angle 4 plus angle 5 equals to 180 degree okay these are known as co interior angles now similarly co exterior is also there which is not that famous but we are writing it exterior co exterior so co exterior is 2 and 7 and then 2 plus angle 7 equals to 180 degree and 1 and 4 sorry 1 and 8 is equals to 180 degree so these are the properties which will be very handy while understanding all the concepts related to geometry especially in terms of parallel lines whenever you see a parallel line given you have to observe which among all these five properties are being used so if you have any doubt ask in the comment section or in the class thank you for watching